Hello, gamers of the Gamerport. Welcome back to another episode of Hearthstone Ranked Mode. So we're going to continue climbing rank 9. And we're going to hopefully go and continue the win streak and uh, try to reach as high of a rank as possible after a few games. I've had mixed luck every now and then, so sometimes I'll... I'll just win every game and I'll go up two ranks, or I don't win every game and I don't move at all. We'll see. I uh, I specifically am playing handlock again because I still think I'm going to be versing very similar stuff to what I was versing earlier, which is uh, anti aggro and stuff. So hopefully I'll be able to respond with that to that with uh, 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 handlock. Cidic Swampoozes should be really good in this matchup. Hmm. Uh, next turn I'll be drawing 9 cards. I'll have 9 cards. So, ha, this guy's a toast. Hmm. <laughs> Let's do this. I'll be drawing up to back up to seven cards. Defender on this would be really strong, allowing me to delay any damage to me for a while. I'm sure this guy just realized what's happening and he's freaking out. Now he's probably really scared. <laughs> Prep. Sprint. So this is oil rogue. I did the Ascetic Swampu since I have another one. Well played. <laughs> well played. Fuck off. Pay attention, class. Hmm. I think since I draw and I lower my lower the mountain giant to five, I can tap to lower to four, and then I'll draw. I am ready to learn. Yeah. Four mana molten giant. I mean, uh. Mountain Giant. Deadly poison. I am ready to learn. Wonder what he's gonna do. Prep. I am ready to learn. Oh. 
Blade Flurry. I am Did he like miss counter something? Tap five. Or I tap five and have two extra mana to dark bomb something, which is kind of a waste. I survive. I don't know. I'm just playing it safe. Sorry about that. Wow. She can actually kill me through the ton even. Well then just do it. Why are you fucking BMing me? Holy fuck. Just do it. So she has Iron Beak Owl? Why would she say sorry about that and then take a fucking year to do it? Sap. And then what double eviscerate? What? She said sorry about that. Okay, so she didn't have it. I got this. Well played. <laughs> she actually has it now. There you go. That was so fucking weird. Why? She didn't even have lethal. Why'd she say sorry? That was dumb. Whatever. Gul'dan versus Anduin. The light shall bring victory. Your soul shall be mine. All right. Let's see if I can actually start with a Twilight or a Mountain Giant this time. There we go. And of course, I don't go second this time, so I don't have the coin Twilight Drake play to do, which is unfortunate. So of course, I don't get it when I have the coin. Alright, so I'll be playing the mountain first, I believe. As I tap on three, I go to eight. Uh, lowers it by two, so when I draw the for the fourth turn, it's fourth. Four mana. There we go. And it's better to play the mountain than the uh, twilight. Well, actually, the Twilight gets more value. 
Depends what he plays, I guess. But the Twilight is really hard to deal with as a priest because Shadow Word, Pain, and Death don't work on it. I think I'm gonna actually Twilight Drake here. The BM heal his face when it, it doesn't heal for anything. Nice. So I can tap, lowering the cost to. Wait. Yeah, I could tap to lower the cost to three. I don't think I've ever done that before. That's actually pretty sick. Now I know how to finally play out the Twilight Drake Mountain Giant. Uh, two turns in a row. Uh, I don't think I ever thought of the tap. I don't know why, but yeah. Okay, so if I have both Twilight Drake four uh, tap Mountain Giant turn five is ridiculous. Must consider. So he basically has to Shadow Word Death the uh, the Mountain, and it was a three mana Mountain anyway. So this is really good. Some What should I do? 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 Uh, so boom, boom, boom. Ancient Watcher? Or, yeah. And I have 10 cards, right? Okay. Boom. Well, it's a really tough game for him now. Uh oh. No. I kind of wish he took the mountain. Hmm. So if I defender and attack it, I can mortal coil it. Tap to nine and kill off the uh, mind control tech. I think I'll Emperor uh, Dark Bomb next turn. Two for one. Nice. Well played. Oh god. That changes like everything. Uh. Gotta go for it. Gotta get those mountains out of my hand as quickly as possible. So now I've played both mountains and both twilight drakes. This becomes a lot easier to manage everything I'm doing. There's the first Shadow Word Death. He's got two of them. They always do. It's fine, because it was three mana for my giant, three mana for the Shadow Word Death. Uh, so now... I can... Uh, Dark Bomb... So many possibilities. Mm. I almost feel like it's worth it to dark bomb that. So that my guy lives with one health. There. Oh man, devalue mortal coil zero mana. You guys know all about that value. I wonder if he'd shadow word death the uh, the emperor, or if he's just gonna suffer. Do you mean interesting game? Holy fire! God damn it! 
Wow. Is someone injured? Northshire. What? He healed it to draw? I'm uh, pretty confused on what the fuck just happened. God damn it. That's why I didn't play the Molten though. I could have. I preferred saving it. I wonder what he got. God damn it. He just stole three cards from me. I only have to taunt up one more Molten, so we'll see what happens. I've drawn a lot more cards than him. <laughs> God fucking damn it. Okay, good. BGH. Wow. Three attack to AoE his board. Hmm. So what, just... He's had a lot of fucking answers. Light bombs, Shadow Word deaths, BGHs. This is like anti henlock at its finest. He got a uh, Acidic Swamp boost from me. That's pretty funny. Alright, well, here's BGH, here's Mind Vision. I mean, Mortal Coil. So I think I'm just gonna start with a Mortal Coil. Holy shit. I've got the beast in my side. <laughs> There. I wonder what he got from me. He's pretty happy about that mind vision. He gets a golden. That's what he drew. Thoughts. Oh my god, dude. Stop fucking taking my cards. <laughs> Dr. Boom. What the fuck? Thank you. Gotcha. Go for the Hail Mary. Ah, uh, boom. Oh, fuck me, I'm dead. I'm dead. It needed to kill it. Oh my god, I hit another BGH. Holy fuck, dude. Why do you thank me? Damn it, dude. Stop it. Fuck. <laughs> god damn it. Can I even win? I have a Hellfire, but like, how the fuck do I win? Oh, 
What the fuck is this anti-control deck, dude? What am I versing? <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god, stop spamming me. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? And then this is another BGH. But, I... I was wrong. Another light bomb? He can't do it. Let me change Cabal Shadow mind. Priest. My Holy fuck, man. Fuck <laughs> off with the spam. What a toxic asshole. My apologies, my apologies, my apologies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like, how does someone actually play that way? That's so retarded. So, like, that, yeah, that, yeah, fuck that. I'm gonna play it back to my mid-range warlock, because that, that was, like, actual... Ebola versing literally an anti-control deck, which is the reason I pulled out Hanlock in the first place. Gul'dan versus Hunter. Let the hunt begin. Your soul shall be mine. This should be interesting. Why'd I greet him? I never greet anymore. Web spinner, he's mid range. That was fucking retarded though. Light bombs, mind control, uh, holy fires, literally the ultimate control deck. Animal companion. Wow. Let the face begin. Get in there and fight, maggot. Hmm. Wow, I'm really low. I'm gonna try to save the defender to taunt up something big. Face. Wow, I'm really low. This will lower it to five, and then. There we go. Well, I guess I'm pushing for lethal. If he has Unleash the Hounds, I guess I'm fucked. Unleash the Hounds, kill command, I'm dead. Right? No, he's off by one. It would need to be Unleash the Hounds plus some type of uh, AoE buff. Alright, he's just trying to survive. He can't. Game over. Well fought. I can see. Nice. Get fucked. Fucking mid range going face the entire game. Yeah, that makes sense, right? Mid range going face all game. Makes sense. God damn it. That was retarded. I outfaced him. That's crazy. I feel like he didn't know what he was doing. Cool 
Alright, so I have to hope that he doesn't have um, the warrior in this matchup. I mean the uh, weapon in this matchup. I'm gonna get rid of defender. Maybe even a ruby egg, yeah. There we go. I got the defender back, or the other one in the deck. So yeah, if he has weapon, I'm really screwed. He'll probably just end his turn, because there's not really many one drops to play on first turn as warrior. Unless he's some type of aggro. So why is he hovering me and my fucking character? Just end your turn, bro. People are fucking Ebola, I swear to god. Alright, let's see what happens. I just have to hope he doesn't have the weapon, there we go. Perfect. I attack it because I've said in previous videos when they have an armor smith, it's better to attack it than to let him buff it with um with Cruel Tass in next turn, Cruel Taskmaster. And get and kill my Voidwalker for free. He's control. Free kill. It's better to play the knife juggler after because you you actually don't miss any damage. There's a chance that you give him an extra uh, armor because I already had three damage. So if I went and attacked, um, I mean, if I played it first and it hit the armor smith, there's a chance that it would lower it by one, wasting one damage, also giving him one extra armor. So it's a 50 50 on if it's going to work out for you or not. So there's just no point in doing it. Hmm. I wonder. Put this apple on your head. I think I'm just going to save the coin for a uh, turn 6 Dr. Boom. <sighs> it's a pretty hard matchup to win as the uh, as the mid-range warlock. Especially with this kind of a hand. I haven't got a void color or uh or really like any mid mid game. I've only had early game and now late game. And he had a weapon. Basically fucking bad for me. This guy takes his sweet ass motherfucking time. Why would you play that first if you're gonna attack? Oh, cause he's not gonna attack, okay. There we go. At least he gets to enjoy his uh, good value axe just like it was the same last turn except now he gets two sweaters instead of just the 2-1. And if he really slam executes that, I'm done because he had the weapon. Unless he's, well he's definitely Grim Patron so he's trying to save it for the Grim Patron combo. But I don't think he can. I think I'm making it so he can't save the Grim Page. There we go. That's what I thought. He can't save that. Alright. So I guess I just kill it and play Dr. Boom? Yeah. This is 
going to be real interesting to try to win this. I need to do this this turn, so hopefully I can try to take over before the combo of Grim Patron. Wow, he's trying to draw for that execute, or whirlwind. he's going to whirlwind me. Wow. Battle Rage for one. Does he really not have it? He can't draw it? Did he draw it? He wouldn't hesitate like this. Oh, okay. I'm gonna silence that fucking bitch. Alright. Well, it's gonna be real hard for this guy to win now. In before combo. And he like gets a full fucking field of Grim Patrons here. Oh, he didn't have uh, the card. He needed the uh, Enrage or whatever. Double Whirlwind. Bomb to face for four. Nope. There we go. He just wanted to everyone get in here on me once. Okay, that's fair. Alright, well, I didn't move in rank, as I said, but we're going to probably continue today with uh, with mid-range Warlock because I couldn't win a game with Handlock because of the match matches that I was, the people that I was versing. And then now I'm playing mid-range Warlock, and look at that, easy wins. Hope you guys enjoyed the games. Leave a like if you guys leave a comment about my saltiness, and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. I'll take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one.